Hey guys, thank you for coming back to join me on day 14 of my water fast here at Tanglewood in Costa Rica. Yes, day 14, which means day 13 is missing. And why? Not because I'm superstitious, but because, you know, you saw day 12, we met Lauren. What could be better than that? Well, I'll tell you what could be better this could be better. Today you are going to meet two of my best friends that I've met here uh, at Tanglewood. Uh, sisters, you've probably heard me speak about them before, Ashley and Amber from Texas. Yes, Texas. The same state as Beyonce. In fact, I think they even know Beyonce. In fact, no, no, no. I think they're related to Beyonce. Cousins, second cousins. Have a little look. So, here we are with my girls, hey. Ashley and Amber. Hello. Beyonce. Tell me about Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I've done, I've, the first time I met them, they said they're from Texas. I was like, oh, where Beyonce is from? <laughs> but yeah, they don't like Houston. We don't know Beyonce. <laughs> no. We're from Austin. Is yeah. the rivalry from Austin and Texas? Is it like a rival? Like oh, between Austin and Houston? Austin and Houston. No, I don't think so. Austin is just it. different. Houston is just a little bit, I don't know, the vibe is different. It's no, more... Okay. Austin is for hippies. Yeah. Oh, for hippies? Like no, us. I should go that right? no. Yeah. So, okay, right. So I didn't do a video yesterday because everything was just the same. Same old, same, same. So I thought, what can I do to, like, give it a bit of oomph? And these are my sisters! <laughs> This is hey. from another mister. I tell you, I could not have done this without you two. Aww. And I'm not just saying that because you're on camera. I've said it before. <laughs> Haven't I said it before? I mean, there's no one there, but I said it before. <laughs> so, um, today's journey, I won't really talk much about me. Tell me a little bit about how you found the fast. So, actually, I told my sister about it and I was actually just scrolling through like YouTube because that's what I do in my spare time is I like, like to watch health videos. And then I like was like watching Dr. Morris and like on his page like raw figs and then Lauren came up. And I was like, Well who's this guy? So I started searching and then I figured out he had a whole wellness center and here we are. So kind of how long has it been since you've been doing all of this stuff? Like I keep saying, as everyone's probably bored, I've been raw for a year. <laughs> like when did you so have you done You've done, because I know you've done like fruit fast and you got your mouth fruit for mm -hmm. times. Right. How long has it been, do you reckon, since you first discovered that's a good way to go? Oh, 2018, I want to say. Was it 2018, maybe? When yeah. We first started yeah. like experimenting with things. Yeah. We never went completely, but I think like since then it's just been like a progression. So like pescatarian, vegetarian, vegan, fruitarian, and now we're here. So you're vegan. Yeah. You were vegan before. What were you? What were you? What were you? I'm free of labels. Ha! <laughs> You're so good. You should see the way she works, Lauren. She can get anything. This girl, she's all sweet and sweet. But I tell you what, she can get you to do anything. She's manipulative. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Boy, she's looking in a can of oil, baby. Yeah. I think it's important to. I think it's important to be high raw course like that's without saying but I also think for me specifically labels have been like um, a point of tension because I'll say I'm vegan and then I'll slip up and then I feel like a failure so I've done away with the labels I'm doing the best I can day by day yeah and when I do have what I want I just make sure I'm away from you guys <laughs> nice. Wow. Cause the thing is when I first did this I, f I did like a little video diary on my iPad and then I did a one to camera and I thought I was like, what am I going to do? And if I put it on YouTube, because my experience here is very different from things that I've read online, similar to some, but there's some like negative stuff. And I get it. Everyone has a different journey. But mm -hmm. for me, this has mostly been positive. It's not been easy. Yeah. But what have you guys found? I feel like it's definitely, um, it's been hard. That's, it's been hard, especially like, because I'm very vain. And I have a rash on my face right now and it's on my chest and it's on my shoulders and it's going to this shoulder so like for me that's like really difficult to deal with especially like now I'm like it's a couple days it ain't going away and like, that's a detox symptom it's a detox symptom apparently but, so these girls are a lot braver than me so they're doing a 21 day fast I'm only doing 16 so you know part of the reason I extended for the extra week was because of these two because I was like yeah I want to stay I want to finish with them but so you tell us your first two weeks weren't 
like this at all. Where this is your last week now. So actually, oh my god, it's the last day. I've got two more days. This is your last day. I got one more day. Oh, one more. You're doing an extra day. Bad, but I got one more day. <laughs> so but what was like? Tell us, especially you, because you you have said you've had a lot worse symptoms as well, haven't you? This week. Yes. What was your first two weeks like? Uh, my first two weeks was really easy. I was like astonished that I wasn't so hungry. Mm -hmm. The only challenge I had was um, every now and again I would feel a little bit more tired. Um, or a little lightheaded, but that was it. That was it. But this week, go on, has been hell. <laughs> and I'm just, um, unfortunately, I've realized like I don't deal with discomfort well because it's like, okay, I need to do this because this is what he's telling me to do and this is what's gonna give me the best results. But then it's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that because. I, that's very uncomfortable. I'm tired. I don't want to drink any more water. My stomach hurts. So, um, I need to be more resilient and more perse perseverance. And I realize that and not sweet talk my way out of the requirements. But, um, it just shows you yourself, like what you're really made of. You know, and that's why I'm so proud of you guys because y'all are like chugging along. No, but we like, talk about wow. that. You haven't, you haven't, you know, a couple of days where you haven't done as much, but you've done it. You have done it. Majority of the days. Done it. Yeah. You have done it. That's just the joke when I say all of that. So mm -hmm. you've got to be proud of yourself because, wow. And also, especially, you know, vegan, like vegan, you've come into this having a bit of a mixed diet. I think you've, it's a bigger jump for you to yeah, do that. Absolutely. It's like, that's I couldn't strength. have done it. If I was eating cooked food or like if I was eating maybe cooked food, but if I was eating like meat, even every now and again, there's no way I could have jumped to this. But there's lots of people here who are doing that, who can do it, yeah. and you're a testament to that. So. Absolutely. Well, you know, I finished my last meal at the gate. <laughs> what was your last meal? Uh, breakfast taco, potato, egg and cheese. Oh. And I was like stuck in <laughs> as I'm walking in. Yes, I got pictures. I have to give you the pictures. So the first day, he's like, so how much water did you drink yesterday? I was like, none. He's like... I was like, I didn't know we were supposed to start drinking it. Yeah. That's the thing. You start the day, you arrive as classed as your first day. Well, they're not, because every day I start to go, so on day 10, <laughs> well, day 9 for me, but day 10, so that hopefully people watch it like now. But, so, go on, any last little tips, any little bits that maybe for somebody who's thinking about doing something like this? Mm. I would say maybe it's hot. Depending on where you're from, it's hot. There's no central AC. They got bugs out here, like big bugs, like roaches and stuff. I bring so, up the roaches. what? I say you always bring up the roaches. Cause that's a big deal. People need to know. So you come out here, get your mind right, get prepared. Um, and I would say come with somebody. Yep, that's what I, I would say. say like it was really nice to have my sister here. Luckily, we met big bro here. And we got little bro too, so we had like other people with us as well. But I would say that's like essential because you need that sense of community, like that camaraderie. Like mm. that's important. Every day, I get excited when I gotta go up there because I'm like, mm -hmm. I get to see my people. Yeah, you made it you very I mean? easy for us too. Like every I morning, know. we walk in there, and Leon's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, love, love Leon. Oh no, I love so. you guys. No, it's been amazing. So um, yeah, I think. The, coming here and meeting people who are sim, I was saying I've not met anybody at home who's similar to me, who has similar beliefs. So that has been a big kind of breath of fresh air. And the reason why I think I, I do want to come back and do a longer fast, but yeah. it's that thing, are you going to have the same people here? No. But we're hoping maybe we might try and time it so we yes, can come back. We so schedule maybe it. this time next year if you want to come. Hey, um, come join us. We're a fun crew. <laughs> yeah. oh, but we anyway. break a couple of rules, but we good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for being on my video blog uh, or whatever it's called. Of course. And um, yeah, thanks guys. One more Bye. tip. Oh, Bring cool. your own cell phone adapter. Oh, that's Bring huge. It. Huge, 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 huge. Number your own. one. Yes. Yeah. So basically the Wi-Fi here is you have to not Wi-Fi the internet you yeah. have to do in Ethernet so but the cable you have to get a cable that plugs into the bottom of your phone otherwise you can't use your phone yeah they've got one here and it's shared between 32 people so and people um, take off with it mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and also if you can get like a little portable fan or like a little fan for the room that would kind of be nice because it does get a little hot especially the car ride here like to get here is either four hours or two hours and you ain't gonna have no air so It'd be real good if you get like a little handheld one that you can kind of blow blow yourself down. Otherwise, you're gonna be sweating, baby. Mm. Sweat. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Say bye. bye. So that's Amber and Ashley. Uh, those girls have literally saved me here. Thank you so so much for um, sticking with me and on the journey. Don't forget. 
If you like what you see, then please um, subscribe to find out more. Uh, I'll be posting videos, whew, a few more. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll do one tomorrow, it's still 15, I've got two more days. Maybe I might skip tomorrow, depending on how I feel. If anything major happens, I'll let you know. Um, if not, I'll probably do 16, day 16, because that'll be my last day fasting before I refeed. Um, and then, other than that, Oh yeah, on the 16th day, I think I want to do like a bit of a compilation of, because I've been taking pictures every other day of me, of you know, how I've changed all the way through. So that should be in the next one, hopefully, if I remember. But um, yeah, please feel free to subscribe if you want to know more and like the video and make sure you comment below if you've got any questions and you want to know any more about the water fast.